na basi mtazamaji tukiingia kwenye masuala ya afya ni kwamba tume ya maadili na vita dhidi ya ufisadi ESCC imekamilisha uchunguzi kuhusu ubadhirifu wa mabilioni ya pesa katika shirika la usambazaji vifaa vya matibabu humu nchini Kemsa mwenyekiti wa tume hiyo Elud wa Bukala amesema faili za uchunguzi zimekabidhiwa afisi ya mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma ili hatua zifazo zichukuliwe wa Bukala alidokeza hayo huku Kenya kina kiliongezeko la visa vya maambukizi ya ugonjwa wa COVID-19 Mwezi Septemba ripoti ya ukaguzi maalum wa hesabu za matumizi ya pesa za serikali kutoka kwa mkaguzi mkuu ilifichwa kwamba serikali ilipoteza shilingi bilioni 2.3 katika sakata ya zabuni za ununuzi wa vifaa vya matibabu katika shirika la usambazaji vifaa vya matibabu tangu wakati huo taasisi za uchunguzi zinachunguza swala hilo Tume ya kukabiliana na ufisadi nchini inasema imewasilisha ushahidi kwa mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma baada ya kukamilisha awamu ya kwanza ya uchunguzi wa sakata hiyo Uh, we could not go for all of them but I so we have a first out uh, procedure to system that we finish this then we go to the next until we finish everybody who was involved will definitely give account of what we did but uh, we have also recommended systems a reach of the of cancer because uh, they cannot afford to lose all this if they had a system that is basically able to prevent those kind of loopholes. Kemse imekuwa ikitumiwa kwa kutosimamia vyema mabilioni ya pesa zilizokusudiwa kuwa za kukabiliana na janga la corona. Hi leo Kenya lina kilivisa 44 vya maambukizi mapya ya virusi vya corona kutoka kwa sampuli 1878 zilizopimwa na kuongeza idadi ya watu waliothibitishwa kwa maambukizo virusi hivyo kufika watu 1092459 visa hivyo vipya vikiwa ni asilimia nane nukta tatu ya maambukizi. Wizara ya Afya pia imetangaza kwamba wagonjwa 527 wamepona kutoka mpango wa utunzi wa nyumbani na katika hospitali mbalimbali nchini. Jumla wagonjwa ambao wamepona kufikia sasa ni 1073979. El hali ile ya vifo imeongezeka hadi 1164 baada ya wagonjwa moja zaidi kuaga dunia kutokana na ugonjwa huo. Wizara ya Afya imesema wagonjwa moja kwa wakati huu wamelazwa katika hospitali mbalimbali huku wengine 1,6284 wakiendelea kupata nafuu chini ya mpango wa utunzi nyumbani. Wagonjwa 46 wamelazwa katika wodi za wagonjwa mahututi na wengine moja wamewekwa kwenye mitambo ya kusaidia kuokoa maisha yao. Takwimu za hivi punde zimetolewa huku serikali ikisema imeweka mikakati ya kuhakikisha masharti ya kukabiliana na msambao wa ugonjwa huo wakati shule zitakapofunguliwa tena mwezi Januari. You know the provision of desk in schools to be able to achieve an element or degree of social distancing to that program is going on very well and the government is full control of uh, you know that program but it must be hand washing stations in every school that is something that the government will not be able to compromise on wakati huo huo afisa mkuu wa afya katika huduma ya jiji la Nairobi daktari Ouma Uluga ametoa wito kwa hudumu wa afya wanaogoma kurejea kazini huku serikali ikishughulikia matakwa yao So of course uh, there is uh, a lot of effort that is being put uh, under the leadership of the Ministry of Labor to address all issues. I think their leaders should um, confirm to you that they have been attending meetings at the Ministry of Labor because I have been part of those meetings myself um, and it is not uh, therefore not true that uh, they have been ignored.